Welcome back to Windsor Sports Ting Complex. We are ready to go in quarterfinal number two. It'll be Westfield Sports to get things underway for the All Saints Maitland. All Westfield Sports, Luke in Luke Lili in Jersey one. Two's Will Craig, three Daniel Wonga. The four Roy Quiroz Mapasua. The five Saint Fui Tamal. The six Lachlan Galvin. The seven Dion Paran Thor Airnet. The eight Ocean Vai Vela. The nine Heath Pritchard. Ten Cohen Lewis. The eleven Sasefa Fanau. The twelve Byron La Pipa. Thirteen Dangel. Schaffhausen Minnow, the 14 Tyrus Salanora, the 15 Marcus Orr Fanora, 16 Peter Tai, the 17 Jeremiah Leitagaga, the 18 Ryder Tal Talalangi, as All Saints. Maitland, good set, nice kick to finish it there. Number one's Caden Gothard, two Braithe Connor, three Darcy Jones, the four Isaac Robb, the five Liam Richardson, six Jack, St Jack Thompson. Seven, Ashton Farrell. Eight, Jack Hillier. The nine, Tristan Head. The ten, Cody Hopwood. The eleven, Ethan Quinn. Twelve, Lucas Hickling. Thirteen, Flynn Mitchell. Fourteen, Jackson Seville. Fifteen, Lachlan Hickson. Sixteen, Vince Campbell. Seventeen, Laird Young. And eighteen, Fletcher Anzalark. Referee, Rami Abu Mansour. His touchdowns is Aiden Haywood and Marco Levy. Ball hits the ground, so a mistake there to finish the set. Some good defence there from the All Saints side. Both sides featuring a couple of Australian schoolboys, Westfield Sports, Luke Malee and Lachlan Galvin and Cody Hopwood from the All Stars, All Saints Maitland side, the number 10. All Saints Maitland end up winning the Northern Pool. Four sides involved there themselves Central Coast Sports College, Hunter Senior High School, and Farrah. As now they use the footy or they move it quickly. Some good work. Oh, a call for forward pass. Oh, touch must have got involved there. Let's have a look at their games. They got defeated by. The Central Coast Sports College 20 to 16, then they defeated Hunter 38 12 in round three. Defeated Farrah 20 to 14. On the sideline, if you'd like to be a ball boy or ball girl, please go down to the main table just in front of the dugouts. Thanks. This Westfield side, they finished top in the seeded pool. They let the ball talk now. Lele E gets it on quickly. Fui Tamao. Louis Tamao played on the far side of the field. Galvin. They dummy underneath. Pick up. Schaffhaus and Minnow. Pritchard rolls in the dummy half. Has a look around. Oh, balls hit the deck. They just put the kick through. <laughs> La Pepper, he did well. He keeps it alive now. Still going. La Pepper, hard to stop. Decides just to hang on to the football. This is where Pritchard's dangerous. Five out. He looks, throws the long pass. Once again, Galvin, Galvin. This All Saints defence hangs on. Pritchard scheming again, all on four. Stepping. Perrin for air there. Perrin for air there. will get to his feet now. Slowly but surely he does. Pritchard, Lili'i. Fires a long pass. Quiroz Mapasa gives a nice pass for Will Craig. And Will Craig will grab his fifth try in this Peter Mulholland Cup in 2023. Had a clear run. Roy Quiroz Mapasua did a good job. So Westfield four, kick to come.
It's a conversion attempt for now. Right on this Grand Sand side touch line. Taking a while with the conversion attempt. He eventually moves in. Tries to bring it around. Conversion unsuccessful. Goes well to the right. So 4-0 Westfield leading. All Saints Maitland early. 5-6-9 in this first half. For quarterfinal number two. Farrell with the restart for All Saints. Galvin awaits. He found Lewis. Oh, there's a mistake there. Good tackle, jammed in. And the crumbs are being picked up through Hickling. It was a good tackle from the centre, Isaac Robb. Called the ball to... Be dislodged and then straight away after points, all Saints get an opportunity to level back up. Quinn. They look for Hopwood. That's who they. Oh, another ball. It looked like he was going to have it, but Hickling now. It was a face ball. Went straight across the face of Hopwood. This one won't, though. As he winds up, can he get his hands out? He certainly can. Cody Hopwood. They equal up quickly, All Saints Maitland, after a mistake off the kickoff from the Westfield side, and they've drawn it up for all kick to come. I've already mentioned Hop would it be dangerous, but it was a tackle from Isaac Robb that had the ball dislodged. Ashton Farrell will look to add the extras. So Ashton Farrell moves in. Shouldn't have any problems and doesn't. Flags in the air. All Saints six. Westfield four. Nine minutes gone. First half of this quarterfinal number two of the Peter Mulholland Cup 2023. And if you just joined us. Resulting quarterfinal number one, source of Dominic's College 26. Defeat Hill Sports 18. So as I said, that's both last year's grand finalists out of the competition in 2023. So all Saints now. I just want to a good set after points. Hopwood, the try scorer, a bit of ball playing there, picks up his front row partner, Hillier. Oh, and there's the knock on from Hillier as he hit the ground. He, he's not arguing either. So a good tackle there from Cohen Lewis. Caused the ball to be dislodged. So both sides making mistakes after points. Will Craig will feed the scrum. Hey, 
Picked up at the back from Pritchard. Galvin. Galvin throws a nice pass for Wonga. Wonga coming across Gothard. It was a good tackle. As Wonga really set up. Oh, balls hit the ground again. Pritchard will take it. Once again, they look to go sideways. South Hayes and Minnow says, let's just drive it forward. This ruck speed straight away from Westfield. It's pretty important back underneath. Queer eyes and Mapasua. Mapasua. Big Roy Queer eyes, Mapasua. They go back to the left through Galvin. Galvin, short pass. For now, can't spin out of the tackle though. Galvin goes to dummy half. Long pass once again. Chaffees and Minnow. I'm going to say it went forward. As he popped the pass up. Pop the pass. La Pepper. And it was Judge Ford. So All Saints Maitland. They'll bring it out of their danger zone with the scrum on their 10. Darcy Jones. Strong carry. Now Quinn. Hopwood charges in the Westfield defence and they're there to meet him. Eventually, he's allowed to t- tackle. Cohen Lewis likes mixing it up. The number 10 for Westfield. His defence has been good early. This time, Hillier hangs on to the footy. Jack Thompson said, I've had enough of this and gets plenty of purchase on it. He goes back. Picks it up. Hopwood, good tackle. Chasing the kick. Lili, he's quick play the ball. Galvin out of dummy. He just, out of dummy half, just picks it up. Finds another 15 metres. Pritchard finds Craig. South and Minnow it was. Rolling through the middle. Long pass for Galvin. Galvin pushes out a one tackle. He can see space. Can Galvin? He's got a... Oh, that was too easy. He just looked up, saw space, and then said, oh, I'll carry you over. So Lachlan Galvin grabs a second try for Westfield. The key so far has just been their spot, their ruck speed. It's been quick play the balls, and that's what's really hurting all Saints. So 8-6, Westfield leading after the Lachlan Galvin try. Couldn't believe his luck. He just looked up and saw open space. For now, looking to add the extras in his first conversion attempt of the day. Denzel Schaaf has a minnow just having a chat to the referee. No problems this time. Flags in the air. So 10 points to six. 
North Saints Maitland trailing Westfield Sport. So Farrell with a short kickoff. Pritchard rolling Lewis. Louis to Mao. Pritchard out of dummy half beats one. Market defence comes. Mitchell, good tackle. Lili, his turn out of dummy half makes another good 15 metres. They're just not slowing them down at the ruck. This is what's going to hurt at the minute. The All Saints side as Galvin just puts a high kick up. They come, went backwards. Went backwards for both sides. They pick him up. Referee says held. Liam Richardson it was. Saints now trying their turn to bring it out of their danger zone. Gothard it was that time. Rob now. He's driven backwards. He's met by three Westfield players. Lewis once again involved defensively. Hopwood. They'll get to the 20. Look for a kick from Thompson. Puts it plenty on it. Luke Lalee takes it nicely, though, and just looks up, and he tries to go straight through the middle of this All Saints defence. He's taken a while to get to his feet. Hickling involved in the tackle. Well, Lalee, he doesn't look 100%, but he's just shaking the head. Pritchard. Lalee Tagaga. On in Jersey, set 19. All runners there. Lewis. Forward pass, so. Hopwood could see the danger, then he come across. As soon as Lewis got it, he got him to the ground. But it was a forward pass. Really playing close to the line. This Westfield side, they lead. 10 points to 6, 11 minutes till the break. So scrum feed, All Saints Maitland. 20 shy of halfway. Good carry there from Darcy Jones. Flat pass, Quinn. Oh. Not to Shepherd, the referee. Referee's determined a Shepherd there. Maybe I thought the ball was maybe a, an inch forward. Anyway, the Shepherd, so all of a sudden, Westfield Sports will get another wonderful opportunity. <laughs> Lachlan Galvin, he didn't make a lot of room with that kick. Wonga. Baron Tournay in there, looking for a runner, finds it. Shaf Hazen Minnow, strong carry again. Pritchard, this is where he likes to work. Quiroz Mapasua. They'll stop him eventually. Only two out. Craig will go to dummy half. Fires the long pass. Pritchard. Pritchard dummies once, twice. Picks up Galvin out the back. Galvin, they pop the pass. Oh, it's a little knock on them from the head. So there's no problems at all. Fui Tamao picks it up and goes again. Knocked a bit of sense into the winger. Long pass for Galvin. Stepping again, bouncing at the long. Got such a long palm. Lachlan Galvin, dangerous to tackle. Pritchard. Gonna have a wonderful opportunity here, I would have thought. Ah, hand over, they do well. 
Little Saints defense hangs on. Another good carry. Out of the danger zone from the number three, Darcy James. Hillier. Hopwood. Oh, he just slipped the wrong time then. Hopwood. Pritchard came over the top. Rob. Oh, he put his winger under pressure. And Craig says, I'll have a piece of you. Just picks him up and drives him into touch. William Richardson it was. It was really a pass Rob should not have thrown. The handover now. The Westfield Sports. Jeff Owes and Minnow will play it. Pritchard waits. Current toy in there. Which way will it go? It'll go to the hard working number 10 in Lewis. Pritchard. Current toy in there. Back underneath. La Pepa. A mistake from La Pepa as he tried to get to his feet. So you can see this Westfield side intent on the quick play of the ball. Sometimes it creates errors. That's exactly what we just saw then. Eight till the halftime break. Quarterfinal number two. Ashton Farrell to feed the scrum. Mitchell. Hopwood rolling forward. Head. Oh, put straight on his back was Mitchell. Hillier. Hillier. Oh, he tried to get the hands free, but the Westfield defence trapped the football. Head to dummy up. Once again, looks for Hopwood. They get, they find him. Dancing Thompson. Thompson throws the pass. Eventually ends up with a winger on the far side in O'Connor. Last tackle. Hand still in the air. Farrell gets it eventually. Puts it high. Lali'i waits. Takes it comfortably. Can't get past Hopwood. And Campbell in Jersey 16 just made his way onto the field. Tai, his first touch. Kuros Mapasua. They wrap him up nicely. Campbell underneath. It was a good tackle. Pritchard. Lali'i. Once again, Lali'i just gets up a little bit gingerly. On the last tackle, they're more than happy to let the ball talk. Parentoy in there. He's end up with it. He just pops it out the back. And Mitchell will dive on it for all Saints. So once again, all Saints side have to bring it out of their danger zone. Hopwood gets the balls free, did well. Found Rob, head, looks up, wants a runner, finds one, and they get the halfway. Courtesy. Farrell trapped with a football. As he tries to get to his feet. Oh. Jack Thompson puts it high in there, taken nicely. Who hits him out? I'm just going to hold it up with Flynn Mitchell. 
Looks like he's down in back play, the 13. Up and about now. And with a restart, four minutes fifty to a half time break. Craig for Westfield gets there in some defence. The hard running winger, he does well. Still going is Craig. He's going to look up. He's going to be hard to stop from here. He just keeps pushing people away. Says, get out of me, Whalen. Will Craig will go 50. And bangs his sixth try in this competition. Some feeble defence there from the old Saints side. Nothing happening. Will Craig just snuck out a dummy half and said, see you later. 14 points to six. Conversion in front. Should be looking at 16-6. You'd be disappointed if you all Saints. They've, they've stuck. They've stuck with this Westfield side throughout this first half. And then just a soft try to Will Craig. No problems with the conversion attempt. 16 points to six. Three minutes till the break. So all Saints with the restart through their number seven, Ashton Farrell. Gets plenty on that. Galvin waits. Takes it comfortably on his try line. Leah Tagaga. Bring it back. They go to the short side. For now. Pritchard. To the open. Schaffhausen and Minow. Always has runners outside. Pritchard again here. Schaffhausen and Minow. He'll go back just before halfway. 16-6. La Pepa. La Pepa. Once again, a quick play the ball. Galvin. Galvin wonders what will he do. Craig. Ball's been knocked on. It might be six to go here. No, no, they're going to say knock on. Just to see who gets the feed. Yeah, I thought so. I thought it was an All Saints knock on. So Westfield will get a chance before the halftime break to extend this lead. They lead by 10. Craig to feed it. Parentor in there. Bounces off the left. They come up and wrap him up. Isaac Robb involved in the tackle. Hopwood as well. Pritchard. 
Chef has in me now. Pritchard goes to the open, dancing, fires Leah Tagaga. Pritchard wanting a runner. Hard to stop from there for now. Can they, oh, they hold him up. Cody Hopwood's done a great job. Hopwood's underneath. Hillier came over the top. Now get one more shot, though. Wanting runners. Parentoy in there. Pritchard on the last. He'll look for a trick play. Fires the long pass for Galvin. Galvin, Galvin puts it on the toe. Siren sounds. And right on the bell, as in the quarterfinal number one, a side scored. And it's Westfield Sports through their fullback, Luke Lali. It's a lovely little kick there from Galvin. Just took it to the line, then placed it and right on the halftime siren. 20 points to six. A similar score line to QF1. So for now, looking to add the extras before we roll into the halftime break. Flags in the air. We will go into the break with Westfield Sports 22. Leading All Saints, Maitland, and six. Conversion successful. Score at half time. Westfields, 22. Maitland, six. We'll be back with all the second half action shortly. Of quarterfinal number two. Ready to go for the second half of this quarterfinal number two. And the half time break sees Westfield, 22. Leading All Saints, Maitland, six. Westfield get another opportunity, get their first opportunity in this second half. Ta'i, Ta'i replays it. Jeff Hayes and Minnow's been good for Westfield. Pritchard looks up, a little dance, rolling through the middle. La Pepper. Pritchard, they go the short side through Galvin. Galvin, La Lee. La Pepper. La Pepper still going. On the last tackle now. Galvin, he'll go to the short side, puts the kick up in the air. Up they go, down they come, Craig. <laughs> Might have been tackled in the air, that's what the referee's going to say. A little bit unlucky there. All Saints, they were both contesting the footy. Will Craig went up and went down. Field. We'll have to drive it back to the 10. It was held up on the infield. In goal, sorry. E. Galvin. Galvin, they roll it. Lully E. Dives to the ball and will score. They just let the ball talk. And Luke Lully E. Ends up with it and he'll score the first try of the second half. Punch it out. So a 26-6 lead early in this second half. Only three gone.
still trying to still follow. This one, straight up after this one, it will be Endeavour Sport taking on Erindale College and finish out quarterfinals. Patrician Brothers Blacktown and Vic Uni Secondary College. Massive day here at the Windsor Sporting Complex. All quarterfinals of the Peter Marlin Cup in 2023. Honouring the great man, Peter Mulholland. Conversion attempt. Right out on this grandstand touch line. Moves it. Oh, he slipped over. And just pushes it to the left, but he's up and about, he's having a bit of a laugh. Saints with a restart, goes deep. Jeff Harris and Minnow. He got the pass off. Aaron Toyer in there. As he caught it falling down, he just popped it up. Pritchard appealing. Wonga. There's a lot of opportunity, Wonga. Pritchard once again as the hookers do, making a bit of noise. Galvin, Galvin making gaps, pops it up beautifully for now, for now he's got runners he throws a dummy, beats one, beats two coming across, making a good tackle Ethan Quinn, they come to short side again through Pritchard, he's got finds Galvin, Galvin gets away from one, just straightens it up Pritchard, long pass Lee clear to Gaga Lee to Gaga keeps it alive for Lee. Lee looking for a double in the second half. And a fight on the last. This time they slow it down. Pritchard, they go to the short side. Puts the little kick through, cleans up. Just bobbling around. It was a nice kick, Perrin Thoyer in there. What's the referee going to rule? Waiting for the touch judge to say. Oh, looks like it might be a knock on all states. No. Yes, it is. Knocked on in goal by all states. That'll be a dropout. The all states side. So, ball goes on here. They look around. Got Leah Tagaga on the charge. Chart. He's mistaken to play the ball. You can just see his little knock on as he tried to grab it. Saints boys yet. Yeah, they'll get an opportunity, but they can march it out of their danger zone. There's Rob. Rob gets driven backwards. Head to dummy half. Hickling. Yeah, he 
again. You know, he finds Hawkwood combining well the two front rows. It's a good tackle. And now, quick play the ball. Thompson. Thompson back for Hillier. Did well to control that. The last tackle will be now. Heck, he's totally go. He looks around. Finds Thompson. Thompson. It's an eye in the air. Oh, Ali, he looked like he lost. Lost sight of that. Is he going to let it will it over the dead ball line? He does. He plays the patient game and comes up trumps. Now he looks like he'll bring it back with interest as he makes the quick tap and looks up. And he has got space. Luke Ali'i dragged down eventually right on halfway. Salah. Salah Nora. One in Jersey 14. Craig coming in looking for work through the middle. Looks like Salanor has gone to dummy half. Aaron Toyer in there. Salanor. Galvin, Galvin. Fires a sharp pass for Wonga, but he's wrapped up nicely. On four, Galvin again. One, two. Picks up Tatia, and he will score. Just too much football at the moment, this All Saints side. I mean, sorry, this Westfield side. And the All Saints side haven't seen a lot of the football. Tahi. Schools after some good lead up work. Now punches the score out to 30 points to six, still 20 minutes left. In quarter final number two. Now, no problems with the conversion attempt. 32 6, Western Sports. Saints. Maitland. 22 6 at half time. Start again. Down to Galvin. Plenty of changes in this Westfield side now. <coughs> time on the field. Nora, the dummy half comes the short side for now. Salanora, wide pass. Leah to Gaga. He keeps it alive. Salanora. Quiroz Mapasua. Quiroz Mapasua with a head of steam, winding up, bouncing through tackles. Quiroz Mapasua on the last. Out of dummy half. Has a crack. Salanora. The referee's going to go back and point to the spot. So Tyrus Salanora out of dummy half after a powerful run from their number four, Roy Quiroz Mapasua. And Westfield now really putting on a show.
I shouldn't have any problems with this one right in front of the sticks. So once again, conversion successful. 38-6. Dominic's College 26, they defeated the Hill Sports 18 in quarterfinal number one. Here at Windsor Sporting Complex, the home of the Windsor Wolves. I spoke to a referee that said, you know, you, it's a toss-up who's biggest pain in the yard, but you're the Another deep kick taken inside the in goal. Pritchard back on the field, he had a little break. Looks like he might go to First or second receivers, Galvin's had a break. Salonora still at dummy half. Good defence there. Mitchell and Hopwood. Darcy Jones underneath there. Hillier came over the top. Lewis. Salonora, which way will he go? As he goes to the open. <laughs> Ufanua on the last this time Pritchard yep. definitely pushed into that half back roll up they go down it comes bit of weren't sure what was going on there was it touched no referee's going to say it wasn't touched it'll be a handover as Fui Tamao ended up with the football Connor for all Saints just trying to bring it out of their danger zone now they look up the Westfield defence gets up quick Jackson Saville at dummy half in Jersey 14 back underneath for Hickling Hopwood Oh, there's a little knock on. He was thinking. Aston Farrell, he took it on the, sh the short side. He was going to come back to the open. Couldn't hang on to the pass. The water's done now. It's given Westfield Sports another wonderful attacking opportunity. 25 out, the scrummel set. The scrum will Craig, Craig will feed it. He's already picked up two tries today. I think he's tally the six. They go, they hit the short side. Salanoa, Craig to dummy half. He'll just have a dart out of dummy half, spins out of the tackle, dives, and will score three. Will Craig, so strong out of dummy half. Well, that time he didn't have to run 50 like his second. And he ducked out, five out, hard to stop, and he gave three for the afternoon to take his, as I said, tally to seven now in this Peter Mulholland Cup in 2023. And pushes the score out to 42 points to six. Goal kicker now, Roy Quiroz Mapasua lining up. And 
Chris Westfield Sports side showing why they finished top of the seeded pool. Career-wise, Mappa, Sewer goes bang, no problem from Tall. Punches the score out to 44 points to six, 11 left in QF number two. You're on quarterfinal day at the Windsor Sporting Complex. Farrell again with the restart. It sits up nicely. A little bit of indecision who was going to take it, but eventually it's handed to Lewis, and Lewis will roll it forward for Westfield. Quarterfinal three up next, Endeavour. Sports High taking on Arendale College, the boys from the ACT. Craig. Craig still going. <laughs> Quick play there, there by Vela. La Pepper. La Pepper still going. La Pepper bouncing out of tackles. Drives through tackles. Comes to the fullback and. Jack Thompson had to come across in cover and make the tackle. We're on the last tackle, Pritchard fires the pass for Fui Tamau. He's wrapped up in the All Saints defence. Hangs on. And once again, they'll get the football because they're just trying to bring it out of their danger zone. Westfield defence. Relentless comes in, picks him up, and drives him backwards. Side on shot there. That was a good tackle. Looks like he's knocked it on, has he? Yeah, he has. Coming in side on was Vivella. On Liam Richardson. He's good, Richardson. Just to lose control of the footy, but... It was a big hit from the number eight for Westfield. It's Westfield's high. Sports high. We'll get the footy now. Ten out. Fui to Mal to feed the scrum. Pritchard. Parentor air net. He keeps it alive for Craig. Craig, this time they wrap him up. He pops the pass for Wanga. Wanga. They're all lining up now. Salanoa. Long pass. Pritchard beats one. Pops it out the back. Parentoene pops the pass. They all say, here, you can have it. Pitatati says, he just pops it out to Fui Tamau. And Tamau scores in the corner. And after the solid tackle from Vivella, it gave Westfield the opportunity and they once again take it with both hands. And they score in this left-hand corner. Punch the score out to 48 points to six. Conversion attempt to come from right on the touchline on this grandstand side. Quiroz Mapasua has taken over the goal kicking duties. He's one from one. See how he goes on this one as it pushes to the left, doesn't swing around. So the score will remain 48 points to six, six minutes left.
And after Maitland led 6-4, it's been all Westfields. <laughs> Farrell again with a restart. Taken by the try scorer. Louis Tamau. He just brings it infield. Pritchard goes to dummy half. La Pepper. Pepper now just to getting involved. They give Craig an opportunity on that right hand side. Ball went forward. <laughs> and that will be the call. Knock on Westfield. Be a scrum in the middle of the field. All Saints feed. Ten shy of halfway. All Saints get their opportunity with the ball in hand. Mitchell eventually gets to his feet. Hink Hickling. Hopwood. Oh, well, ball's flat coming in, picking up. No, knock on it'll be from Pritchard. So once again we'll we'll pack another scrum. All Saints feed. After the pass from dummy half, hit the ground for Hopwood. Farrell to feed the scrum. Thompson. Thompson gets it on to quickly to Mitchell. Craig involved in the tackle with Wonga. Long pass. Lucas Hickling. He's had a dig for all sites. Worked all day, the 12. So was this bloke, Hopwood. Looking for runners. Some nice little trick play there. Mitchell, they keep it alive. Jones, Jones, ball goes backward and the crumbs have been cleaned up by Fui Tamau. After it looked enterprising for the All Saints side. Tai. To Lungy. His first touch, he just made his way onto the field. Throws a long pass. Parentoy in there for Craig. Craig looking for four. He's already scored three. Parentoy in there again. Pritchard, Pritchard, dummy. One, two, Wonga. Leah Tagaga pushes one out of the way. He's got numbers everywhere. Still going. Leah Tagaga says, I don't need you. I'll do it myself. Jeremiah Leah Tagaga scores late. And Westfield hit 50. It was a strong run from Leah Tagaga. As I say, they were lining up. He had support everywhere. He just kept going. And it's been a pretty comprehensive display. From this Westfield sports side. 
And Lee Tagaga says, boys, I scored it. I'll have a crack at the conversion myself. Next up will be Endeavour Sports taking on Erindale College. <coughs> Lee Tagaga will move in. Not in any real hurry with only 40 seconds left on the clock. To punch it out to 54-6, moves in, and that's why he doesn't kick very often, I think, Jeremiah. 52 <laughs> points to six. With a short restart, the ball will hit the deck. Who comes down with it? Leah Tagaga. He's in it up with him. And as they say, there goes the siren. So it's full time in the quarterfinal number two of the Peter Mulholland Cup 2023. And it's Westfield 52. They've run out winners over the All Saints Maitland 6. Be back shortly with quarterfinal number three.